So the other day I went to Michael's to get a frame for one of my pictures and I ended up getting this as well. And this is a Praying Watercolors 16 set. And as you can see it comes with a little brush and it has a bunch of colors and a place to mix the colors and also on the back where the pans are there's in the little area and it looked like that's where you could swatch your color so that's that, that's where I swatched my colors. Um, so I've been wanting to get these watercolors for a while, even though recently, well, what's that? I don't know, might have been, I can't remember how long ago, but not too long ago, I got some Holbein watercolors, but I just, I wanted these too. <laughs> so I finally got them, and I happened to have a 50% off coupon that particular day, so I used that for these and ended up getting them. Oh. 50% off because it's a coupon I used. Um, I don't know why I really wanted these. Maybe it's just because I have a. I, I, I just like watercolors and I like new art supplies. So maybe maybe that's why I wanted it. So I got it. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to compare these to some different watercolors that I have purchased in the past that are sort of kind of in the same price range with the exception of one of them which I just realized it's not really in the same price range but whatever you don't even know what I'm talking about yet so anyway um at Michael's these were $13 approximately $13 regular price but like I said I had a coupon so I got it for $6.50 which is pretty good and um, usually if you buy something from Michaels they'll give you like a 40% off coupon or if you join their rewards program which is free you don't have to pay to join <laughs> um, they'll send you coupons if you get the app and stuff and there's usually a 40% off coupon there so if you became a rewards member and got a coupon the 40% off coupon from there and got these watercolors from Michaels it'd be $7.80 16 colors and that's not that's not too bad it's pretty good actually and um, I also looked at these up uh, these on Amazon just now which today is Monday and these were around ten dollars on Amazon which is still not too bad but if you can get a keep on you get them from Michael that'd be great so yeah that's the price of these and you get 16 colors as I've already said and the other watercolors that I'm going to be talking about and comparing them to are the um, primer marketing watercolors which I think now they're called watercolor confections or something and also the Winder Windsor Newton Cutman and Artist Loft and I'll talk about the Artist Loft first because yeah, I just want to talk about them first. So the Artist Loft watercolors are the cheapest of the cheap. They're five dollars, and I think you get 24, 24 colors. And those were the first watercolors that I recall using ever. Um, I have owned two of sets of those, and I used them when I was little. And once. I got older and was like, whoa, watercolors can be used for that, and then I started using them again, and eventually I just put them away, and I haven't picked them up since. Um, compared to these praying watercolors, they are really chalky. The praying watercolors are a tad bit chalky, but they're not as chalky as the Artist Loft um, watercolors, so like if you get a coupon and you just spend $2.80 more. I mean, it, it would be definitely worth it when you compare it to the Artist Loft ones. And you might think, well, the Artist Loft comes with more colors, but um, it's actually good to have a set with fewer colors because you learn how to mix colors, so that's the thing. And the next ones I'm going to talk about are the Windsor and Newton Cottons. Um, 12 set. Um, most of these are on here, on my list here. Well, never mind. <laughs> anyway, the Windsor Noon Cotton set on Amazon are currently around $13, which is not bad. That's a little over a dollar for each pan, which is pretty good, you know, pretty good. And I personally did not enjoy the Windsor Noon Cotton watercolors. Maybe I just didn't try hard enough with them but I, I just I really didn't like them so I have a lightly used Windsor Newton Cutman 12 set palette 
in my drawer right now that's just sitting there and probably not gonna get used for a long time until one day I decide I'm gonna try again and you know, who knows what will happen then but um, me personally I don't like those either um, I didn't feel like they were um, vibrant enough I didn't really like the colors that came in the set either I know you can just buy the individual pans and you know just get the ones you want but I like for um, smaller sets to come with just what you need like your primary colors and your secondary colors and stuff like that and nice brown I don't like the browns in the set either so that's a bummer so I don't really like the Windsor Newton one and compared to this set I think this one is better color wise which some people might get mad about me about that but yeah I don't like the Windsor Newton cut one um, if I had to choose between these and those I would choose the Prang ones so that's the thing and the next one, which is actually my favorite one on this list, besides the brand ones, are the watercolor confections. I've already talked about those. I don't think so. Anyway, they're $12. Not $12. That is not true. They're $18 for a 12 set on Amazon when I checked. So, that's the most expensive thing on this list. It's over a dollar for each one. I, I'm not doing the proper math. I like a dollar fifty cents, right? I think, for each pan. Which, is not too bad, but I mean, it's definitely more than everything else. So, but, I like the colors that come in it. Um, well, I got the classic set, I should say. And I like the colors that come in the classic set. Even the brown. The brown is pretty good, though usually I'll mix a little red or red and orange into it to make it the shade of brown that I like. But I like those colors in that set and compared to the praying watercolors, um, I would probably get the confections, the watercolor confections, the primer marketing. Um, but if price was a problem, I'd just go with the praying ones because they're they're pretty good color wise. Um, though the confections aren't they aren't very chalky. They're the praying ones are just, like I said, a tad bit chalky. They're not too chalky, but it's definitely a little chalky, which is understandable. It's student grade watercolor stuff. And it's not very expensive, so it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> um, anyway, I think the winner on this list, in my opinion, would be the Primal Marketing Watercolors or Watercolor Perfections. Yeah, but the praying watercolors, let's let's talk about them. I like them. I like the colors that come in the set. I like that it comes with a brush. Um, this and the Windsor Newton Cotman 12 set were the only ones that I got. No, they weren't in the artist loft unless it came with a brush. The primer marketing did not come up with a brush. But it is a small set, so that is understandable. But um, I think these colors are really nice, especially like if you're just starting out with watercolors and you just want to try them out before you try something else, I would suggest you get the prime ones because they're pretty good, or the primer marking because they're pretty good as well, and if you don't mind spending the extra money, those are good as well. And um, I haven't used those in a while though because I have the other ones. I have too many. Goodness, I have too many watercolors. Anyway, um, this video is kind of rambly, but I hope to help you out in some way, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.